at which point do you actually switch out for and, and upgrade these open source solutions with more enterprise solutions? Um, Mari, would you like to take this one maybe? Yeah, I think, I think really most of the open source projects that at least I, I measured in my, in my talk are really reached that maturity point in which they can actually be production grade tools in your stack, um, whether on the data integration part, whether on metadata management, and also, for example, if you take Superset, it's a really mature BI solution. Uh, on the data warehouse itself, um, I think serverless options are a great fit for potential scalability in your use case, because if you rely on BigQuery, no matter how you, if you have one GB of data or 10 terabytes of data, it's going to scale of you. And even if you have petabyte size tables, it's going to actually scale. Um, there are scenarios in which eventually you'll have to put some of your data out of the data warehouse. And so that will add a lot of complexity uh, when you would actually need to manage that on, on a separate pattern, for example, of lake house um, design or lake house architecture. Um, but I do think that we're at that stage where you can start with open source technology and be certain that it will scale of you at fairly um, um, sufficient manner for your use case. And you have very specific scenarios in which you would need to, to upgrade something else or move to a SaaS platform, maybe to reduce costs because managing an open source technology is going to be too much of an overhead for your engineers. And so you move to something that's completely managed. Uh, but the technology itself is is very scalable. Okay, um, but at the same time, I think Victoria, you you mentioned okay, but DBD cloud, like okay, it is you know the the SaaS version of it, right? Um, and it seemed like you're you're like you're definitely making a case for it. So would you that that first like always go for DBD cloud? No, it depends on um, it depends on how technical your team is or the team you want to have or maybe you if you're building the team are um if you go to enterprise it's always easier right especially because you're paying money someone is going to pay attention to you and it's going to help you so if you don't and if you go open source uh then you'll have to put way more effort if you don't use dbt cloud for example you'll have to set up some kind of a scheduler um, you'll have to set up like the whole deployment process in there dbt cloud will really really make your life easier so um, it depends up to you. In that case, if you don't want uh, your team to be so technical, to spend that much time, you don't want to put that much effort into engineering, for example, and you want to have like a more um, like business oriented kind of like data team, then I would highly encourage to start from the very uh, start with DBT Cloud. So then you don't even have to spend time of that because then the migration will also be quite hard. It won't be worth uh, probably. So it, it depends on what you want to get out of it and how much engineering efforts you want to invest.